Hey, welcome back to Drinks Made Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sweet variation of the old fashioned, the peanut butter banana old fashioned. And to do that, I'll be using screwball, banana liqueur, and Mexican chocolate bitters. Now, I classify this cocktail as more of an after dinner or dessert cocktail, but honestly, you can have it whenever you want, and you can make it however you want because, as Paul says, it's food. And speaking of Paul, if you are a subscriber and you're wondering why you're looking at me and why we're in a completely different setting than what you're used to, stick around at the end and I will tell you. And if you are new, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and you can find out who the hell Paul is. All right, let's make this drink. To make this drink, we're gonna start with two ounces of your screwball. I love that sound when you open up a new bottle. Hmm. I don't know. People, I, lo I love this. I love the way it smells. So, two ounces. Next, we're going to be using a quarter ounce of banana liqueur. Now, in the test builds of this, I experimented with a full ounce, half ounce, eighth ounce, and settled on a quarter ounce because I felt like that was the right blend of liqueur to be able to play nicely with the peanut butter whiskey. And then finally, we're going to be using our Mexican chocolate bitters. And I'm gonna be using six dashes of that. Now I picked Mexican chocolate bitters as opposed to cocoa bitters, which is what some of the recipes called for because I just felt like it pulled everything nicely together into one drink, whereas I felt just the cocoa bitters was, really didn't add anything to it. Now we're gonna give this a stir. Garnish with a Luxardo cherry. And there you have your peanut butter banana old fashioned. Mm. I'm so happy I found this cocktail. It is so good. I mean, it's a peanut butter banana cocktail. It's exactly what you would think that you're gonna get from something called a peanut butter banana cocktail. And I'm just so glad I found it, and I'm so glad that I showed you how to make it. Now you can make it for yourself and for your friends and family. Cheers. So, hmm. And about Paul. Paul is now a brand ambassador for Book Lottie Distilleries. So we haven't been able to really get our schedules to coincide, but he'll be back soon, I hope. And uh, we'll go from there. Cheers. Drinks made easy.